Well, good day, YouTubers, fans, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on October 9th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to a very scary day throughout the United States as look at all these tornado warnings going off across six states from Houston to Missouri. And also we've got Hurricane Michael in the Gulf of Mexico on Florida's doorstep, as well as a winter storm parts of South Dakota and Wyoming. This was reported yesterday, but there will be more and watch for snow on the backside of these storms as they head east because there is quite a northern push going on right now. We're going to get more into that. Uh, just recently we had a Sangue going off in Ecuador for volcano, but look at all these tornado earthquakes or sorry, tornado warnings across as I said, six states. And we also have Hurricane Michael, Cyclone Suban, Sergio, Leslie, Tropical Cyclone Titley. That's right, I said Titley. And also we have Tropical Storm Nadine. So we're gonna get into all those storms right now. And this is satellite imagery of Hurricane Michael as a category three, getting ready to Hammer New Orleans, parts of Louisiana, and Florida. It is projected to make a northeast trek. Looking at visible image here from geostationary satellite images. Quite an impressive storm. And last night when I was posting the live stream, some really strange things were happening. I, I encourage you guys to check it out. It's probably about two hours into the live stream. So check it out. And here we're looking at satellite imagery of a cyclone Luban who is heading into the Sea of Eden. Parts of Yemen already getting the first band of moisture now. And we'll be heading westward. We're going to be looking more into that tonight as the sun comes up over that area. And this is Tropical Cyclone Titli. I'm going to find out the meaning of this one. But this is a very intense rain event. I'm going to look at it from a higher perspective here. You can see to the left, Luban. And this is Titley. Very intense storm. A lot of rain associated with that one. Here is Hurricane Sergio. Dying down probably will be a subtropical storm when it makes landfall tomorrow. Seven day visible here. See that long line of moisture over North America that just developed and it just kept going and going. That is what we call an atmospheric river. It looks like somebody just turned a hose on and and with that came all those tornado warnings today and throughout the night last night. I was getting warnings every hour. It was keeping me up all night actually. So. Looking at the precipital water, we can see a lot of things intensifying and very cold water and temperatures moving southward. A little mixed bag here in the Atlantic. But Leslie is supposed to be heading into Europe next week. So watch tracks for all of these storms, folks, because they're coming to heavily populated areas and they're bringing a punch with them. Staying aware and prepared, I want to thank you for joining me. Here is the trek of Hurricane Michael overlooking Florida and the South Panhandle. Watch for a lot of tornadic activity as this storm heads across southeastern United States, But probably across eight states today, there are tornado warnings going off, so stay aware and prepared and stay tuned to your local radios and weather networks as things are changing drastically. Here's Path of Sergio heading into Baja, California, and Mexico, bringing a lot of moisture with it, and then throughout Springtown in Texas, watch for intense thunderstorms later in the week and also snow on the backside of these storms that develop across the Midwestern United States and throw parts of Alberta 
Things cooling down. We've got one Chinook left, I think. Weather well, Network saying 19 degrees. I don't think we'll get that high. We'll probably get about 13, if that. Yeah, you can see a lot of blue really starting to invade as a large high pressure ridge has developed over the northern pole and is being stretched both ways. Atmospheric river event here happening as well. And then here we've got tropical cyclone Titli. You can see intense and vast amounts of moisture heading into southeastern and northeastern parts of India and Myanmar and Burma. And tropical cyclone Luban heading into the Sea of Eden. So wow, we're living on a crazy planet. All these storms, this is a late and breaking Atlantic hurricane season and Pacific hurricane season. Look for a video tomorrow. I'm gonna to be spec I'm gonna be going over the history of hurricanes, so be sure to tune in to that. You can see finally maybe Leslie heading east into Europe. 18 no uh, 21 day storm now. But around the world things are changing drastically. Watch for this winter engine coming, and those blues will turn to purple real soon. You can see here, western parts of Russia and the United Kingdom and Europe receiving some pretty cold temperatures. I'd like to get some reports down there from them. Those temperatures are reaching all the way down to Turkey. parts of Inner Mongolia. Wow. Grand Solar Minimum much? I encourage everybody to do their own research before they try to call me fake news or try to call me um, whatever they want to call me. I've got a lot of people in there in the comment section. I, I love all the great comments and questions and stories and Lots of people sharing stuff in there, but you know what? The trolls can uh, leave me alone. So yes, watch across the United States all throughout this week for tornado and thunderstorm activity. We're going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes now, and it has been very quiet. The largest earthquake in the last 12 hours here, we're looking 5.4 Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 4.0 here in South Africa. Now we don't get earthquakes often there. So an interesting earthquake there. Vanuatu. But no deep earthquake events today. But the last 24 hours we did have a pretty sizable earthquake in Russia. 6.0 earthquake going off. last 24 hours for earthquakes and as I said pretty quiet look for solar wind stream to increase earthquakes and activity over the next 24 hours I'm guessing more in the Cascadia region so staying aware and prepared thank you all for watching today over 4,000 subscribers thank you all so much stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due this video Thanks please for watching. hit that like button now subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world